Good morning. SMIC is the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, and they're a company in Shanghai. They're a primary manufacturer of chips, and in 2020, SMIC was placed on the U.S. sanctions list. The objective of our chip sanctions was to deny China further advances in chip making. Over time, we thought Chinese companies would fall further behind top Western companies and be uncompetitive and go out of business. As we see, the opposite has happened. In 2020, SMIC had revenues of just under $4 billion and was building 14 nanometer chips. Now they're mass producing seven nanometer chips with revenues last year of $8 billion in four years. SMIC's market cap now exceeds those of other global chip makers. And what happened at SMIC is typical of other Chinese chip firms in this space, as China is taking market share from established companies in Europe and Asia in legacy chips. The legacy chip market is also referred to as the mature semiconductor nodes market. These are older technologies, but they're used in everything, smartphones, home electronics, up to defense equipment. China's mature chip capacity will be 28% of the global market this year, and it will grow to 39% in the next two years. Suppliers are already seeing a China shock in legacy chips, and it's being driven by price. SIC here is silicon carbide, and Wolfspeed was the market leader for those chips. Two years ago, a six-inch wafer from Wolfspeed cost $1,500, and Chinese companies are selling the same tech today for under $500. Chinese suppliers are emerging quickly and aggressively grabbing market share. Wolfspeed shares are getting killed, off 96% from their 2021 high. China has easily enough mature chips to meet domestic demand, that's for their own markets, and they've also created entire supply chains for the equipment and the materials to build them. They don't need help from foreign companies anymore. The headlines and news coverage in semiconductors and in AI tend to focus on the race between Taiwan Semiconductor and NVIDIA versus Huawei, or DeepSeek and Quen versus ChatGPT. But China's takeover of the legacy chips market is probably more important because it's the older chips, which have already found applications and wide use in cars and maps and phones and in weapons. The fastest chips is where the biggest profit margins are, but the legacy chips are where the sales volume is. It's the mass market. This explains the difference. If you want support for the cutting edge semiconductors, TSMC has the best teams to build them for you. But for chip technology that's two years old, that's where SMIC is. Foreign chip makers in China are using Chinese foundries to make chips here because it's cheaper and faster than doing it themselves. China is a huge market for semiconductors because China is such a huge consumer market. And China also manufactures so many of the consumer goods that use legacy chips. But China is also now a major exporter of the legacy chips themselves. Through November of 2024, China exported $144 billion worth of them. That's 18.8% growth over the previous year. That's the dollar volume. On a per piece basis, it was 11% higher year over year at 271 billion units. Here's the word aggressively again, Chinese firms leveraging their cost advantages and ramping up exports. And China is not merely competing on price, but also on quality. Chinese semiconductor companies are now at par with or ahead of South Korea across five segments of semiconductor technology and China's catching up with global leaders despite restrictions on advanced chips and chip making equipment. China has passed South Korea and is now ranked number two in memory chips and now ahead of Samsung and SK Hynix. Advanced chip packaging is how chips are arranged to work together to optimize speed and performance and China is now equal to South Korea there.
In the area of high performance, low power AI, China passed the Koreans three years ago and is now behind only the United States. China has a whole of nation strategy to become self-sufficient in semiconductors. Looking at this first chart again, it's hard to see exactly how SMIC was slowed down by sanctions at all. They're finding the money to invest in the R&D to develop the chips. They're finding the people to build them. And now they're building them at lower cost, but of equal quality to the best foundries in Korea. And they're just a little bit behind the United States. And now they're putting our top companies out of business. This is a solar farm in Shanxi province, Taihong Mountains. Be good. Treasure in heaven, for where your treasure